dear students today we can revise a simple topic the kinetic theory of gases while going through this video you can sense which are the areas are important to solve the problems regarding this chapter it's a very simple topic but you can wait one question for uh, neat j and uh, uh, key mentions in minimum look the important first release of uh, ideal gases or the kinetic theory of gases a given amount of gas consists of a very large number of molecules and all molecules are identical in all respect all molecules are in random motion with the different speeds and they move freely in straight lines following the newton's first law the size of molecule is much smaller than the average separation between the molecules the collision between the molecules among themselves or between molecules and walls are perfectly elastic the total momentum and hence the total kinetic energy are conserved the molecule exerts no force on each other or on the walls of the container except during collision and keep in mind a real gas behaves as an ideal gas most closely at low temperature and high pressure look the pressure of an ideal gas a good very important concept are very consider a system containing n molecules each having mass m or in a container having volume v the change in momentum of a molecule after collision is 2 mv the pressure exerted on the gas on the walls of the container that is equal to mn by 3v into vr m square we can write m into n as the molecular mass is equal to so 1 by 3 rho v r m square very important expression if the kinetic energy that is half m v r m square if you just to find the kinetic energy per unit volume we can write as capital e then the pressure can be equal to 2 by 3 times the kinetic energy per unit volume it is very important and then we can move to the ideal gas equation and ideal gas laws you know very well we can just revise it you know the ideal gas equation as pv is equal to nrt but if capital n represents the number of gas molecules and k equal to the boltzmann constant you can substitute it with the k is equal to r by n zero and you get the formula as n k t it should be in our mind see the ideal gas laws the boyle's law you know for a given mass of a gas at a constant temperature pv is a constant charles law at a constant pressure v by t is a constant gell's law law or the pressure law p by t is a constant at a constant volume so you just know clearly look the graphs for the boyle's law as a pv is a constant so p proportional to 1 by v the rectangular hyperbola but if you are drawing with the pv with the v you get as pak a straight line with the p also for charles law you know v by t is a constant so v proportional to t a straight line curve but that straight line parallel to x axis if you plot between v by t and any one of the parameter for gell's law law here you know at a constant volume p by t is a constant so we can write we can draw the graph pak a straight line curves a good aspect to keep in mind dalton's law of partial pressures so keep in mind the total pressure of a mixture of non interacting ideal gases is the sum of the partial pressures exerted by the individual gases in the mixture graham's law of diffusion the rate of diffusion of a gas is inversely proportional to the square root of its density that is r proportional to 1 pi root r avogadro's law at the same temperature and pressure at the same temperature and pressure equal volume of all gases contain equal number of molecules in one mole contain the avogadro number of value 6.023 into 10 raise to 23 molecules some previous air question 
Hmm. Are waiting. In the given volume temperature diagram, what is the relation between the pressures P1 and P2? You look, take the slope. So that is proportional to the tan theta. So the pressure is proportional to 1 by tan theta. So you get the answer. And here another problematic situation. Air is filled at 60 degrees Celsius in a vessel of open mouth. The vessel is heated to a temperature capital T so that 1 by 4th part of air escapes assuming the volume of the vessel remaining constant. The value of T is the choices. We can use the simple concept here. So for open mouth vessel the pressure is constant so we can say and also we say constant here. So we can say the temperature is proportional to 1 by the mass. So for the two situations we can write as T1 by T2 equal to M2 by M1. So here the 1 by 4th of the part escapes so the second mass becomes 3 by 4 M1. So we can just use this concept. So we have to use with our Kelvin scale. So 273 plus 60 by T is equal to the M2 as 3 by 4 M1 by M1. You get the answer in Kelvin 444. We can convert it by subtracting 273. So we get the answer 171. Look the another question. The temperature of a gas contained in a closed vessel of constant volume increases by 1 degree Celsius when the pressure of the gas is increased by 1 percentage. The initial temperature of the gas. So we can just use this P by T is a constant. So P proportional to T. We are here only the percentages are very less and hence we can use the error concept. So it is given as 1 equal to the delta T is given as 1. So 1 by T into 100 and you get the value for T is equal to 100 K. And here the two balloons are filled. One with the pure healing gas and the other by air respectively. If the pressure and the temperature of these balloons are same, then the number of molecules per unit volume is. So we can just use the gas equation. P is equal to NRD. So we can write N by V. N by V. The number of molecules per unit volume equal to P by RD. P, T, R are constants. So we can say as a P and T are constant, both balloons will contain equal number of molecules per unit volume. Look, the very important concept, we can wait one question from this area. The molecular velocities, you know the average velocity, you just to take the average of individual velocities. Keep in mind the formulas as root of 8 RT by pi M, root of 8 P by pi rho, root of 8 kt by pi m, the total mass, here the molar mass, the root mean square velocity, you have to take the square root of sum, the mean of the squares of individual velocities, it is equal to root of 3 rt by capital M, or root of 3 small kt by m, or equal to root of 3 by, by the density, the most probable velocity, it is the largest uh, uh, number of molecules of the gas. So here we can write as uh, Vmp is equal to root of 2rt by capital M is equal to root of 2p by d or equal to root of 2kt by m. And uh, you just uh, write, uh, take the ratio of all the three. So we get the value as equal to root 3 equal to is to root 8 by pi is to root 2. And you can just compare with the velocity of sound in a gas. You know it is equal to gamma P by rho, so or equal to root gamma RT by M, capital M. Then we get the velocity R must is greater than the mean value, greater than the most probable, which is greater than the velocity of the sound. Look the ratio. Look the cow. That is a very important concept. While temperature increases, the peak value is goes on shifted from the origin. That is the maximum law of distribution velocities. Look, the mean free path. The average distance traveled by a molecule between two successive collisions is known as the mean free path of the molecule. 
the very important two relations if d the diameter of each molecule and n the number of molecules per unit volume we can say the mean free path lambda equal to 1 by root 2 n pi d square m so the relation connected with the temperature and the pressure and this relation the van der waals equation for real gases is very important in most of the entrance examination you have to give the answer for the dimension of that uh, van der waals constants a and b like one question at what temperature will the rms speed of oxygen molecules become just sufficient for escaping from the earth atmosphere you know the expression for the escape velocity and also for the root mean square speed and you just compare it and you get the value for temperature as equal to 8.326 in the 10 raised to 4 kelvin so that is a very good question look another one the velocity of four gas molecules are given by 1 3 5 1 to 7 km per second calculate the difference between average and the rms it is simple formulas you take uh, uh, the average value you get 4 rms value as you get a root 21 as 4.583 so you just to take the difference you get the answer as 3 look at another question at what temperature the kinetic energy of the gas molecule is half of the value at uh, 27 degrees celsius and you know the relation as uh, e is uh, proportional to the temperature for the two cases we can write e1 by e2 equal to t1 by t2 but you keep in mind the temperature should be in a kelvin scale it is very important so you get the answer as 150 kelvin but with respect to the choice we can convert it into degree celsius you get the value as minus 123 degrees celsius degrees of freedom the total number of independent ways in which the particles of a system can acquire energy are called degrees of freedom you just know the concept the degrees of freedom is equal to 3 and minus k where n is the number of molecules of the system and k is nothing but the number of constraints or the common coordinates look for a mono atomic molecule n become 1 the constraints become 0 and hence the degrees of freedom become 3 and look the examples for a diatomic molecule n equal to 2 the number of constraints they are linked with the one common coordinate that is 1 so 6 minus 1 5 for a triatomic linear molecule n equal to 3 the number of constraints as a 2 so 9 minus 2 as a 7 but for the triatomic nonlinear molecule, the constraint becomes 3 and hence the degrees of freedom becomes uh, 6. Look the examples. This portion is very, very important. You can write one question from this uh, concept in relation with the degrees of freedom and the law of equipartition of energy. For any system in thermal equilibrium, the total energy of the system is equally distributed among its various degrees of freedom and the energy associated with each freedom per molecule is half kt the Boltzmann constant k look the total energy of the system a system having n molecules and f be the degrees of freedom then the total degrees of freedom become nf then the total energy become nf into half kt so we can write half FRT. From that you can easily find the specific heat at constant volume by just differentiating that du by dt. Cv at constant volume is just differential of that potential energy, the total energy. So you get the value for Cv. But we know the Mayer's relation as Cp minus Cv is equal to capital R. From that you get the specific heat capacity at constant pressure. You from dividing Cp by Cp with Cv, we get the gamma value, the ratio of specific heat that is equal to 1 plus 2 by F. It is a very important relation. Look this one for a monoatomic molecule. For a monoatomic molecule. So you know F take the value as a 3. So simply 3 plus 2, 5 by 3 as the answer. For a diatomic molecule, you know, F is equal to 5. So, uh, 7 by 5. So, quickly we can find the um, uh, 
uh, ratio of uh, specific heat. Look, another good concept, the Brownian motion. Look, the various dependable concepts. That is six sag motion. The Brownian motion will increase if temperature increases. If the density increases, that motion decreases. If the viscosity increases, decreases. Size of the molecules increases, Brownian motion decreases. And we are waiting with the two good questions. The value of gamma for hydrogen, helium and another ideal diatomic gas, but whose molecules are not rigid, but have an additional vibration and more, are respectively equal to, we can just equal, we can use the concept gamma equal to 1 plus 2 by F, but for a, a hydrogen gas, you can just substitute for the diatomic as uh, F is equal to 5, so 7 by 5. For helium monatomic, so 5 by 3. But in the second case, that x wave molecule, an additional vibrational mode is there. So we get the answer as uh, 9 by 7. For each molecule, there is a one vibration molecule. So we have it to give it two also. So the 5 plus 2, 7. So we get the answer 9 by 7. A good question, a neat question. If 7 gram N2 is mixed with the 20 gram argon, Cp by Cv, gamma, we have to find it for the mixture. 7 gram of nitrogen, what is the number of moles there? So you can just find the M division by the molecular mass. You get the value 1 by 4. And for uh, um, uh, um, argon, you can find it 20 by 40 as 1 by 2. If you know that number of moles, you can easily find the value of gamma by finding Cp mix. See, look the equation N1 Cp1 plus N2 Cp2 by N1 plus N2. And the Cv mix as N1 Cv1 plus N2 Cv2 by N1 plus N2. So we get the value as a 17 by 11. A good concept. The Kennedy theory of gases. A simple, but you can write one question from different terms exam. So try to do maximum MCQs. It will give a good rank for you. Thank you. God bless you.